Welcome L's and G's, we've got the back of the box. <laughs> LG's Ultra Gear Gaming Speaker is the star of the show today. It's sponsored by LG and look at, would you look at that? They wrote me an adorable little note. We're really excited to collaborate with you. Thanks. Aw, thank you very much, guys. What is a gaming speaker, you might ask? Well, it's somewhere in between a pair of headphones and a sound bar, and it's intended for your gaming monitor rather than to hook up under your TV. Let's get all the stuff out here. Perfect. Included in the box, you've got a power brick, power cable, a what I'm assuming is three and a half millimeter cable. I assumed wrong. It is in fact a type C cable, which actually kind of makes sense because the gaming speaker has a number of different interfaces, some of which are analog and some of which are digital. That's it, I hope. It's got some heft to it. You got some heft, my boy. Now it's designed to sit kind of in between the angled V-shaped feet of your, your regular gaming monitor, whether it's an LG one or one made by someone else. The IO is all accessible here. So there's a headphone microphone combo jack. It just turned on. I did not, did not do anything. Um, headphone microphone combo jack, auxiliary out. So if you wanted to use the three and a half millimeter jack to go out to something else, you could do that, reset button. Optical in, USB in, and power in. Naturally, I mean, it is for gamers, right? RGB lighting, 16.7 million colors. Ooh. Gonna get some bass from this boy. On the top here is everything you're gonna interact with. So you got your power button, your Bluetooth pairing buttons, slash what appears to be a connection switching button. Okay. Headphone microphone toggle. There's a mute button in the middle. So it does actually have a built-in microphone. And then you've got a couple of different EQ presets. So you can customize the EQ using the app. We'll try that out later. And then FPS and RTS presets. Personally, I find those kinds of presets to be beyond useless, but hey, they're there and they get a big button for whatever reason. All right. Not bad, actually. Oh, you might have noticed I don't have it plugged into anything. It does have a 2600 milliamp hour battery that should be good for about five hours of operation. Obviously, you might get a little bit more if you turn on things like the included RGB lights. Let's go ahead and get the XBoom app open here. Okay, well, that was quick and painless. <clears throat> so what all can I do in here? Oh, look at that. Wow, pretty much no latency. So you can turn the headphones on and off. So that toggles between speaker mode and headphone mode. Oh, the mic is only really for voice to commands. Bix oh yeah, we're not using Bixby, sorry. One thing I'm a little skeptical of is LG's claim that the surround sound effect that they have built into the Xboom gaming speaker is on par with what can be achieved with headphones. It does support DTSX headphones. So if you plug headphones into it, I have no doubt whatsoever that it will be able to give you full spatial audio with your cans. I just am not sure that you're gonna be able to do that from speakers pointed at you. Such a cool idea that I'm surprised. Actually, I think someone has done this before, but definitely not with a gamer focus. You can actually tell just looking closely at it that it, it really is designed for a monitor instead of just being a regular soundbar that you happen to put on your desk because the drivers, one woofer and one tweeter on either side are angled up so that from a normal distance, like, you know, a monitor in front of you right here, they're pointed right at you. That's gonna help a lot compared to if they're just firing into your chest. Red is for optical, blue is for Bluetooth, and we're back. Hey, nice. EQ adjustment is in here, uh, custom. Oh, look at that. Oh, or edit, there we go. Oh, all right, well, I'm a little more disappointed, but still not bad. Oh, it would be way better if you didn't have to scroll. That would, that would be better. But overall, this is pretty good. They actually give you a wide range of EQ adjustments. Very nice. I give you, I'm taking off a Mark LG for having to press these arrows to see the whole range, but that's it. 
Let's try it on a computer, shall we? All right. Ooh! <laughs> All we need hooked up to run it on the PC is, here we go, power in, and then our USB type C, which is already running to the back of the computer. You can see it nestles in to our monitor feet, just a little something like that. And I got no sound right now, because I need to flip it over to PC mode, and then I'm also gonna need to actually select it as, a, as an output device. Ah! Okay, he work. Oh, and we can totally use the built-in mic just as a microphone if we really want to. There's the bomb. Watch out, it's gonna bomb. All right, that is a lot more grunt than your typical monitor speakers. No! Okay, we gotta try to experience the positional audio though. Positional Wait. audio. Behind does sound a little different than in front. It's not like headphones, but it's also something that you would be able to get used to. You would be able to tell if something's behind you or in front of you. Trey's interesting. What's up, Jono? Hey, what are you, what are you doing? Well, you should be able to tell because my speakers are making counter-strike noises. Uh, honestly, I, I, I can't. It seems like it automatically turns the game noise down a little bit. I can still hear it, but yeah, it's perfectly easy to maintain a conversation. Like, I can't hear it at all. There was some gunfire there, so you probably heard that. No, I did not. Really? Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. All right. See you later. Bye. Of course, LG clearly acknowledges this by including, of course, the ability to use the VP9 as, here we go, a headphone amp and DAC. So we're gonna go ahead and plug these puppies in to our aux out. Whoops, no, to our headphone jack. Yes. Then we just hit this button. That is some good positional audio now though. One down, come on, one more. Ah! Credit to LG, it's actually not that far off in terms of positionality. So I can hear this guy coming around the corner here. I should back off a bit. God, I'm terrible at this game. I can hear the firefight over here that hopefully I can, oh, no, okay, my ally already won it. Oh, hi. Positional audio works, ladies and gentlemen! Of course, one of the key features, DTS Headphone X, requires content that supports it. So we're gonna go ahead and install Shadow of the Tomb Raider, a game that does support DTS Headphone X. Oh, wow, that's really crisp. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think it's on. I feel like I could go bird hunting just listening to their chirps. Great positional audio performance through headphones, actually surprisingly usable positional audio from the speaker itself. And you guys can check it out at the link in the video description. Thanks LG for sponsoring this video. Thanks to you guys for watching and get subscribed.